In today's Gospel from St. Luke, Jesus uses a parable of a great dinner while he's having dinner at the home of one of the Pharisees. So I'd like you to imagine you're one of those Pharisees. You're one of the elite, maybe even the host. And then you hear Jesus speak of a man preparing for a great dinner by sending his servant to extend a personal invitation to family, to friends and associates. Many of us, I think, can relate, even if not for a great dinner, but maybe something simple, like a cookout or an ordinary meal at your home. We might even feel for the would-be host who hears back from people declining this generous invitation. Think perhaps of a wedding reception or an anniversary celebration that you might be inviting people to. So what would you have done when you heard people declining? Would you reschedule and reinvite the same people? Would you just cancel it and call it quits? Or maybe would you downsize to your immediate family and closest friends? In this case, the host doesn't do any of those, but instead he directs his anger, his rage, in a positive direction by saying to his servant, go out into the streets and into the alleys and bring in the poor and the crippled and the blind and the lame. And he did, but there was still room. So again, the master sent him out to the highways and the hedgerows to urge people to come in so that his home could be filled. Right there, we see the motivation of the host. He wants everyone who is able to come and enjoy this great dinner. Now this was Jesus' third meal at the home of one of the Pharisees. So at this point, he had a pretty good idea of the type of person who was invited to their homes for dinner. And I can imagine as they heard this parable and looked around as Jesus spoke, maybe even self-consciously looking downward, it would be obvious that the people who didn't make their invitation list were the very ones that Jesus' parable was including. The non-A-list people, those with disabilities, the forgotten, all those who are off the radar of the elite. Now at first glance, you could see this as social consciousness, charitable outreach, and it is. But still there is a deeper meaning that undergirds this thoughtfulness, this kindness. And it is this, the master in the story is God. And his son, Jesus, has come to invite everyone to a great dinner on earth and one day in heaven. And he wants a full house. On earth, this great dinner happens at every mass upon the altar when Jesus gives himself to us in the Eucharist. There is no greater banquet here on earth that we could be invited and come to. And this grand dinner at the Holy Mass will prepare us for an even greater one in heaven. As we think about reasons why at times we may be a little bit like the self-righteous Pharisees, or perhaps people who have declined the Master's invitation, perhaps we could talk with our families about how Jesus wants to fill his home on earth, our churches. We could also pray for a greater appreciation of Holy Communion and strive to look for those in our own families and those forgotten people who need an invitation from us to share in this grand dinner. For the Lord is calling and he is saying to each one of us, come, everything is now ready. And it is. May God bless you and your families on this holy day. And let us strive to be like Jesus, who invites and welcomes us at this and every Holy Mass.